2025 Subaru Forester introduced. A stiffer structure improves safety and performance with a 180 horsepower boxer quad under the hood. The mechanics are a mixed bag of ported parts and new engineering. The engine is Subaru's familiar 2.5 liter flat four, making 180 horsepower and 178 pound feet in the Forester. It loses two horses but gains two torques over the previous generation. A continuously variable transmission is standard, as is the latest version of the automaker's all wheel drive system, which has been revised for quicker responsiveness and active torque vectoring at the rear wheels. Like the outgoing Forester, and the current Crosstrek and Outback, the X mode system is standard on all models except the base trim and helps improve off road performance. In addition to these features, the structure of the Forester has been updated quite significantly. Although it still uses the modular Subaru Global Platform, the 2025 Forester features full internal frame construction. Subaru first attaches the side panels of the unibody to the floor, and then the crossover's exterior skin joins the party. Other monolithic construction methods combine side panels and siding and then match them to the floor but Subaru's method improves access to key locations, allowing manufacturing facilities to add strategic resources and use more structural adhesives. The result is 10% more robustness in terms of safety and handling. The revised design borrows liberally from Subaru's current lineup, with a face reminiscent of the larger Ascent crossover and will arches borrowed from the WRX. The angular greenhouse is modern and perhaps a little ostentatious, but the Forester's low beltline is reminiscent of the first-generation model and the man in the hat is reminiscent of the tall wagon design. The doors and trunk lid have wider, squarer openings for better entry and exit, and the Forester's rear leans towards the faux light bar trend, with a strip of gloss black trim connecting the taillights. Air vents at the trailing edge of the front wheel openings help reduce lift under the front of the car to improve driving stability, according to Subaru, and true to its outdoorsy reputation, every Forester will feature roof rails and underbody cladding. It will depend on the equipment level. On the sport model seen at the crossover's first reveal, this means dark copper, while the flagship Touring has a combination of gloss black and silver. Inside, the Forester features a redesigned interior with wireless smartphone mirroring on all but the base trim level, which now features the automaker's 11.6-inch portrait touchscreen and a pair of 7.0-inch displays for infotainment and climate controls. Beyond the Subaru-specific center console, the rest of the cabin features a Forester-specific design that lifts the dashboard up for more legroom and takes advantage of the lower beltline for better outward visibility. The black headliner and unusually textured trim pieces on the dash and door panels help hide the wear and tear of daily use, making it ideal for a family SUV. Soft-touch plastics appear predictably on the armrests, but they also extend to the front knee bolsters, a higher percentage of Forester owners use crossovers off-road, which is a nice touch. The 2025 Forester also has the largest cargo area ever seen in the nameplate with 29.6 cubic feet with the seats up or 74.4 cubic feet with the seats down. Screw-in mounting points for various accessories are also available, including a cargo panel that divides the trunk area, and models equipped with a power tailgate now feature a proximity hit sensor. Every Forester trim level, base, premium, sport, limited and touring, will come standard with an updated version of the Subaru EyeSight suite of active safety technology. In addition to the existing stereo cameras, there is a new wide-angle mono camera above the windshield to provide more detailed information to the system, improving pedestrian and cyclist detection and more accurately monitoring cross-traffic. Subaru hasn't confirmed the existence of the new Forester Wilderness, but given the success of its current family of ruggedized crossovers, this trim seems like a foregone conclusion. The 2025 Subaru Forester will hit dealerships next spring, and the automaker is keeping pricing information under wraps until then. The drop in retail sales is a real thing, though, 
so don't expect this to be cheaper than the 2024 Forester's $28,390 starting price.